Got a gold ring here I found with a Nokia Legend in a top lot about a little over a month ago. I haven't posted that video yet, but I'm gonna set this down here and I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna swing the, these different detectors over the um, Deus 1 HF coils and the Deus 2 and the Nokia Legend six inch coil. I found this in the top lot with the Legend six inch coil and it's pretty deep. All right, it's an iffy tone. I've gotten a lot of gold rings. I've gotten a lot of gold rings with this setup right here, right? In top lots, not not in, most of them have been in the ground, in, in the dirt. But I haven't had any gold rings with the Deus 2 yet. Lots, dozens and dozens of gold rings with the Deus 1 HF coils. But I'm just gonna, I just, I just wanna know why I haven't been finding um, small jewelry and gold with the Deus 2, right? So multi one here, field program, gain's not too wild here, 24 gain, it's pretty mellow here, right? See, I'm getting response on it. I'll jack the gain up here, 26 gain. And multi one, right? That's the gear towards the lower frequencies. So I'll just go to multi two here. I'm in 60 tone. My recovery speed at 10. I'm getting a little bit of EMI, so we'll have to drop it down here. Right there, 25 gain. I'm getting a, a really good repeatable tone on that. Repeatable tone on that at four inches deep. And that's a small little thin gold ring. Now I'll go to multi three. It seems like it's a lot more stable, um, stable numbers and stable tones in multi three, but it's a lot quieter. So, but when you when you get it over soil, that's all. That's what counts, right? Is you know you're swinging you're swinging over the soil more than you're swinging over targets, right? What percentage of time are you swinging over no targets and having to listen to the ground, then? actual target or when you're digging your target out right you spend a majority of your time over the soil and if that program or that frequency is not doing well in that soil you, you can't use it right and it just the targets sound really deep in this program here really faint um, even coins even coins right so I'll change my frequency to four kilohertz it's a small target there not even touching it. Not even touching it because it's a lower frequency, right? 10 kilohertz. Now I'm getting some more EMI. Right? It's just too low of frequencies, right? Just too small of a target, too low of a conductor. 15 kilohertz. You, all that EMI, 15 kilohertz, not gonna do it. Right? 20 kilohertz. Now it's starting to come through really strong. 20 kilohertz, 40 kilohertz. Look at how fast I'm swinging, right? I'm still getting solid numbers. It's pretty solid in the teens, the lower teens, right? Mid teens. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I swing so fast. These new machines are freaking super fast, right? We're not dealing with those ancient detectors that we were using 20 years ago, and they're so much more durable, right? So, way more durable than the machines that we are using in the past. So I'll try the Deus one. I have See? way more durable than the machines we have in the past. I'm in pitch program here, stock pitch program. All right, frequency is not right. I can dial a little, little bit back there. I'll go to 31, 31 kilohertz frequency. Right. Frequency is just not going to do it, right? There's just so much EMI right here. 
that's that's what the small coils man the small coils are the way to go if you're in high emi spot or if you're in an urban environment like in parks or curb strip for somebody's permission the small coils man start with the small coils that's going to get you the most targets you're going to be able to pinpoint really easy these big coils the nine inch coils man that you get a lot of emi right around homes all right not gonna be able to do pitch tones anyway I can go to um, 54 kilohertz. I should shut it up. Usually 54 kilohertz is really quiet. But with the higher conductive targets like coins, it's not going to do nearly as good because I'm in a really higher frequency. I'll go with hot program here. I was in pitch program there. Let's go in that stock hot program here. 14 kilohertz. Go to different frequency here. 31 kilohertz. Right, go to 54 kilohertz. It's hitting it. It's hitting that ring, but it's, it sounds like iron. It just sounds like iron because it's so far away. Right, I'm in hot program there. I'm not going to even go with the Deus one this coil here because it will not hit it right just just from what this how this coil's performing this coil will not do it actually i'll do it i'll put it in 74 kilohertz frequency just to show you guys if you guys really want to see it not hit it <laughs> should start out in 74 kilohertz frequency right here hot program I'm take a second for it to engage here. There we go. 74 kilohertz. Sounds very irony, right? It won't hit it in the lower frequencies, right? 31 kilohertz. Go at 14. Right. It is not going to do it, right? Just too, too small of a coil, right? It's, it's only a... It's, it's only a five inch coil. That one's a nine inch coil, right? Really what matters is the width of the coil, not the length. From heel to toe, um, that's basically your coverage area. It's the narrow coils don't do really good for depth, but they do cover a lot more area um, than a, a six inch coil. You know, this coil covers a lot more ground than that, that coil, but that coil's deeper, right? That coil's deeper. So I'll try the Deus 2 here. Gold is where you find it, right? I mean, you know, it's just, it's just luck when you find gold. Pretty much it's just luck. Fast program here. Right, see, this is not much EMI here, right? It's a lot of EMI. I can frequency scan here. Frequency scan here. I think I'm in fast program. Frequency scan. Smashing it out, right? Just with a frequency scan. Right. 20s, zeros, 30s, 30s. Now, now I'm getting EMI, right? The EMI is coming back. With, with all machines that I've ever used, um, it always drifts back into the EMI, so you have to frequency scan quite often. But I'll just um, go to a park program here. This is the park program, stop, park program. I'll get right up next to this ring here. Not gonna hit it, right? Look at that. Not gonna hit it, right up on it. The park program has a lot of filters in it, so if you're running the park program in, in a park, you'll miss most of your gold. Most of your gold. So I'll go to Deus Mono program here. Go to pitch tones here. And I'll go to... Uh, frequency 
32 kilohertz. 25 kilohertz. I'll do a frequency scan here. Reading up like iron. All right, just drifted. All right. So it's just completely unusable in high EMI, the pitch tones. But it works very good if you're not around so much EMI. All right. Do another frequency scan here. Now watch, it'll eventually drift back into the EMI. Give, give it a second here. All, right. All machines do the same thing. They just end up drifting back into the EMI. See, it's starting to come back here. I could go um, to a different frequency here. 40 kilohertz. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna tell you right here, it's not about if the target, if the if the detector is hitting the target, it's about what it sounds like on the rest of the soil when you're not over a target, right? That's what I'm that's what I'm more concentrated on, right? How hard is it to dial the machine in? How hard is it to settle the machine? What does it sound like when you're not over targets? Because that's most most of the time you're not over a target, right? You know, um, every machine is different and all machines, um, you know, respond different to different targets. Um, but the, the legend, it just seems to be very easy to work with. Um, I have very little, I don't have to finagle the legend very much. I mean, actually, I just don't, I just don't have to push buttons. Um, what I like about the legend is I can change frequencies within that program and I can get away from that EMI if I'm getting some EMI, I can just one one push of a button, one push of a button. With the other machines like the Deus One, um, I have to do some a frequency shift or whatnot or just, sh just change frequencies. I can do that within that program. But the Deus Two, I cannot do that. I cannot change frequencies if I'm getting some EMI that I can't get away from because I do not want to drop my gain down. That's that's the last thing I want to do is to drop my gain down. The, that's the last setting that I will adjust to get away from EMI. Um, there are so many more different things you can do on the Deus, um, the Deus one, the Deus two to get away from EMI, like drop your auto response down, lift your threshold up, change the tones. Um, but you can't change the frequencies with a, just a push of a button. And that that uh, frequency scan doesn't really change your frequency. It's not going to change your frequencies. It's going to offset your frequencies just by a little teeny bit. But once you walk 10 feet closer to that EMI, that EMI is going to drift back into your, into your program there or into your audio signals. So, you know, um, with the Legend, it's just so much easier just to push a button, just push that frequency button and cycle through the frequencies and choose which ones doesn't have a lot of EMI. But I really don't get a lot of EMI with um, the Legend. I run the Legend a lot in single frequencies. And um, I've, I've shown you that several in several videos. You know, the multi-frequency, you get so much EMI in multi-frequency that you have to drop your gain down. And when you drop your gain down, you are less sensitive to those smaller targets like small coins. Um, and in single frequency, you can jack a, a single frequency up. Hear me out on this. You can jack a single frequency up and do very, very well and have no, t little to no EMI. And, you know, the single frequencies are, it's really outperforming in general. Um, maybe not in the iron, in the dense iron, uh, the multi-frequency is doing a lot better. But... If I'm around gym or if I'm in high EMI and normally in like in parks and whatnot, I, I prefer the single frequencies anyway because I can jack my gain up a lot more and I can hear those deeper targets. Um, and you know, when you're in multi-frequency, you can't have your gain jacked up. So, 
you have to drop your gain way down and what wh what purpose is multi frequency doing if you have to drop your gain way down because there's just too much EMI. Maybe if you're out, out in a field or pasture or something, you don't have to deal with the EMI, but look, look at all these power lines, right? These power lines are everywhere, you know, over in curb strips, in parks, um, at schools, in front of people's homes. You got routers, you got transformers, you got uh, modems. So, I'm really liking both machines. Both these, the Legend and the Deus II are performing very well. But, you know, the gold ring is a white whale of mine. Still on my bucket list for the Deus II is a gold ring. I have almost a thousand hours on the Deus II and no gold yet, but I'm patient to keep on working on it. Well, thank you for watching.